Tomo News presents Solar Energy. China powers on world's largest floating solar farm. China just flipped the on switch on their latest green energy project. A new floating solar farm constructed on a lake in Huainan City in central China is said to be the largest in the world. It is made up of 160,000 solar panels. These panels can produce electricity for up to 15,000 homes. The farm is connected to a city where some two and a half million people reside. The panels are placed at varying depths over the lake. The water helps cool the electronics in the devices and stops them from overheating. Solar energy, like wind, is sporadic and environmentally dependent, meaning the amount of power panels can gather may sometimes fluctuate depending on the weather. Solar-powered floating farms could help feed the world. Barcelona-based company Forward Thinking Architecture has developed a solar-powered floating farm system that could ease growing global food demand. Smart Floating Farms, or SFF, was inspired by traditional grid-shaped fish farms in Asia. Each SFF is 200 meters wide and 350 meters long, roughly the size of six football fields. They can be connected to form a cluster of modules. Photovoltaic panels are installed on the top level to harvest sunlight for electricity, and it has rainwater collectors for irrigation purposes. Other renewable energy technologies such as microwind turbines may also be added. The second level is a greenhouse for the vegetables, which are grown without soil under the hydroponic system. The plants receive natural light from the skylight opening. The ground level is used as a fish farm on the open sea and features a fish egg hatchery, a slaughterhouse and a storage room for the fish. By using farms in nearby waters as a food source, the SFF can help reduce reliance on imported food. All the modules are centrally controlled by software via cloud technology. The production data will be analyzed and can be used to make comparisons on the food needs for specific cities. Each SFF is estimated to have a maximum production of just over 8 tons of vegetables and slightly over 1.7 tons of fish per year. The floating farms are ideal for densely populated cities near coastal areas, such as Los Angeles, New York, Tokyo, Singapore, and Hong Kong. As the world's population increases, food demand is expected to increase 50% by 2030 and 70% by 2050. Green energy boat set to circumnavigate the globe. A self-sufficient boat run entirely on emission-free energy is soon to set to embark on its maiden voyage around the world. The Energy Observer is a multi-hulled catamaran and former racing vessel that's being converted into a green vessel. It will be equipped with 130 square meters of solar paneling, two vertical axis wind turbines, and two reversible electric motors. Its green technology allows the boat to run emission-free on solar and wind power during the day. The vessel will also be fitted with electrolysis equipment to produce hydrogen from seawater. The hydrogen will be stored in tanks and used to power the boat's fuel cells at night or when there is no sun or wind. The Energy Observer will begin a six-year-long journey in spring, stopping in 50 countries and 101 ports of call as it circumnavigates the globe. The 4.2 million euro vessel is currently sitting in a shipyard in St. Malo, France, awaiting the start of its years-long trip. Dubai Greenlight's world's largest solar power plant. The world's largest concentrated solar power plant is about to get even more juice. The Dubai government has given the green light to a 700 megawatt addition to the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park. It currently has 2.3 million photovoltaic solar panels with a 200 megawatt capacity. Capacity is expected to grow to 5,000 megawatts by 2030. Developers say the park will eventually cover 214 square kilometers, with a 260-meter solar tower taking center stage. The solar plant produces power by using lenses and reflectors to concentrate sunlight in order to heat fluids, which then in turn produce steam to drive a turbine. The advantage of this type of solar system is that it's more flexible because energy can be stored as heat and used as needed. A drawback is that they are more expensive than photovoltaic solar plants. Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. 
A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt-hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass-produce the solar window blinds. France to install 600 miles of solar roads within five years. The French Minister of Ecology and Energy, Sangoline Royale, is pushing forward with plans to install solar roads across the country. The solar roads will be built by gluing solar panel tiles onto road surfaces. The tiles are 7 millimeters thick, with a thin film of polycrystalline silicon to collect solar energy. The tiles will be applied to 600 miles of already existing roads in France. The solar panels are built to withstand the forces generated by all types of vehicles, including trucks. The energy produced is expected to be able to power streetlights, homes, office buildings, and light rail. Once implemented, the solar roads could supply enough energy for an estimated 5 million citizens in France. Aerospace firm files patent for electricity generating window shades. BE Aerospace has filed a patent for airplane window shades that are equipped with solar panels. The solar cells integrated into the window shades harness energy from the sun and turn it into power passengers can charge their electronic devices with. The company claims these new devices would only weigh slightly more than ordinary window shades and generate more energy than the extra fuel required to carry them. These devices would allow airlines to save money, conserve fuel, and reduce CO2 emissions. Modern planes equipped with traditional power points or USB outlets that are powered by the plane's electrical system require long lengths of wiring that end up being costly. BE Aerospace added that the solar window shade is easy for airline technicians to install on current aircraft and requires no change to the rest of a cabin's components. Solar-powered computer can provide water, energy, and internet. The developers of a 15-ton solar-powered computer hope it can change the lives of millions in developing countries. The Spanish and Italian creators of the Watley machine aim to provide clean water, electricity, and connectivity. Trials have already taken place in sub-Saharan Africa, where millions live without electricity and clean water. A prototype Watley machine has been tested in rural Ghana and developers plan more trials in Nigeria and Sudan. The final design of the solar-powered 40-meter-high, 15-ton Watley machine will be presented in July. Photovoltaic panels power an internal battery, which provides energy for a graphene-based water treatment system. The developers say the system can supply 5,000 liters of safe drinking water per day. The Wadley machine can provide wireless internet connectivity within a radius of 800 meters. Electricity created by the battery can also be used to charge electronic devices. The number of people living without electricity in sub-Saharan Africa stands at around 625 million. More than 300 million sub-Saharan Africans also lack access to clean drinking water. Wadley's creators say the machine will have a lifespan of 15 years. They hope it can have a huge social and economic impact, especially in Africa, by bringing clean water and energy to millions of the world's poorest people. A new way of getting power from the sun. Researchers in Britain have developed a new type of technology that can help buildings to harvest solar power in addition to the power generated by rooftop solar panels. Solar squared glass blocks contain a layer of small solar cells. The intelligent optics of the blocks focus incoming sunlight onto the solar cells when placed vertically. The blocks can be linked and wired to one another, generating power for buildings and electric vehicles or to be stored in batteries. These blocks can be embedded in conventional construction designs. Tinting can also be added to prevent too much sunlight from entering the building's interior. 
Researchers say the blocks also offer better thermal insulation than traditional glass building materials. Startup company Build Solar, which developed this project, is looking for test sites for this technology. A finished product is expected to be available next year. New solar sunglasses harvest solar power. Researchers in Germany have successfully developed a pair of sunglasses that can generate power. The sunglasses contain organic solar cells, which are flexible and can be made into a variety of shapes and colors. The frames are also equipped with electronics, including a microprocessor, two sensors, and two displays. The solar power captured by the lenses are used to run the electronics, which measure current illumination intensity and ambient temperatures that are displayed on bar graphs. The lenses can generate about 200 milliwatts of excess power, which is enough to run devices such as a step counter, hearing aid, or a small speaker. The solar sunglasses work best in direct sunlight, but they can also work in dimmer lighting environments, such as inside homes or at the office. The researchers say the technology could be applied to the glass facades of high-rise buildings. Such a large surface area would enable the new solar cells to generate significantly more power.